Hello, beautiful family. It's 5 a.m. on the 22nd of February, February in the year 2023. And I woke up at 4 o'clock, actually. I went to bed about 11 and woke up at 4. And I thought I might as well get up. And the Bible says that those that seek the Lord early shall find him. So I just thought, well... I'll read the word of the Lord, and I for, I've forgotten to do a, a, um, a video asking you, a prayer request video, because me and Steve are going again to Hull today to preach the gospel, so I'm asking you if you would pray for us, please. Please pray for us, because um, I know, I know those prayers of yours are answered, and um, that's why we did so well last time in Bradford. Oh, may it be a good, good day like that again. Um, I probably won't go back to sleep, but I'm all right on fa four or five hours sleep. I, I, I can manage on that. Um, I, I'll just read you this, this from Ho Hosea. Hosea 14. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God. For thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calves of our lips. Asur shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands. Ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy. In God the fatherless findeth mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him. I will be as the Jew unto Israel. He shall grow as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his, and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. For me is thy fruit found. Who is wise? And he shall understand these things. Prudent, and he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall therein. I don't know why I was asking the Lord, what, what could I read them? Just a short passage, and that was, I looked through a few things, and that was what I thought I'd read. So I hope you are all all right, and um, um, I will just I will just pray for you all. Um, I have only been awake an hour, and I'm I'm just I'm still I'm just still on my first cup of coffee. <laughs> and these cups were made for me by Janine, but I've not heard from Janine for 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 a while. Two cups she made for me, and she was so good to us. I've still got her T-shirts that she made for me while I was preaching with scripture verses. And it's a street preacher on the back and follower of the way, worship Jesus. So I might wear one of those today if I can. Over the, over, it depends. It's raining right now. But I've looked at the weather forecast and it says that later on in Hull, it should, it should be just grey. So me and Steve are going there to preach the gospel to the lost. I just want to preach from a real place of love, you know. 
I really want I want us both to just uh, reach those people like they could be ourselves lost because I see so many people lost and um, just not knowing what to do and I want I don't want to preach uh, aggressively or any or condemningly I just want to show people that there's an open door to anybody and everybody whosoever I, I hope they hear I'm going to try to be more gracious I'm going to try I'll try my best I'm going to pray from now until until then about it and I'm, ask, I'm asking you for your prayer as well and you don't have to pray as long as I'm going to pray but just if you would well I'm, I'm not going to pray that long but I'm going to pray in and out of all the morning and um i'm just asking for your prayers please that's all um because i notice when you pray things happen like last time i mean steve was incredible and um people were born again it was wonderful um absolutely wonderful it's a pleasure and an honor to serve the lord Hey, we have to come out of our comfort zone, but um, we take that step of faith and Holy Spirit takes over. And I feel God's hand upon this again. So I'm quite confident about it. And I, I believe the Lord is coming very, very, very soon. And, um, you know, and uh, we just need to reach out to people. Not everybody's called to be a street preacher, uh, but we can share the gospel in many ways, many, many ways. Um, we can just pray, pray that the Lord will give you um, confidence and um, courage and boldness and that he will set up an appointment for you, a divine appointment where you will be able to share the gospel with somebody, somebody at work, um, somebody, somebody somewhere where you go or, or just, you know, walking down the street, so, somebody, and he will. He said, ask and you'll receive. So um, we need, we, I mean, I, I, God has shown me what's coming upon this world and it's, uh, it's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. Um, there's no words to, to describe it. It's, it's so bad. And um, we don't want anybody to um, be lost, do we? You know, when, when you're saved, when you become saved in Christ, you've got that love of God in you and, and you know God's true and you, and you want everybody to know that truth um, so that they can be free and, um, you know, loved. Um, there's so many people out there who are unloved and on their own and single and I don't know how they manage to do it without the Lord, I don't. Um, you know, some of those people I look at, um, you know, they make me want to cry. They're just walk, walking around and bewildered and lost and, and they look like they're really struggling and I hope we've reached the hearts of many today. And that's what my heart, heart is to pray for, to reach the hearts of those lost, um, family-less people with no families and just on their own, well, whoever, you know, to the drug addicts, to prostitutes, to, to, to whoever, to, to, to gays, to lesbians, who, you know, it doesn't matter. God's looking at the heart. He just wants them to, if they will believe on him, they will be saved no matter what they're doing. So um, if you haven't believed the gospel, it's so simple. Um, we've sinned, like the Bible says, all of us. We all fall short of the glory of God. That's Romans 3.23. And when you're honest enough to accept that, 
and um, you know that you've sinned, you're humble enough, and you, you say, of course, yes, I have sinned, because we've all lied, and we've all, well, I'm not going to list a list of sins, it doesn't matter, um, but the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for everyone that believes, just, just believe, just believe the gospel, that Jesus paid the penalty on that cross. He shed his blood for us, for the forgiveness of all our sins. And he was buried, and he rose again from the dead on the third day. You believe that, that he did that for you? You know it's true that he rose again from the dead, because he's the Son of God, and you will be saved. No matter who you are, no matter if you've got I don't know, 20 books with a list of terrible things you've done inside them, he will still accept you just by looking at your heart, knowing that you believe. Call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right, I'm going to get off now. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to pray. It's gone cold. It's raining outside, but uh, I'm not even awake yet properly <laughs> but it's just like about 10 past 5 so um, it doesn't matter that's just the clock just time it doesn't mean much to me nowadays have you noticed how quickly time is going and we're going to be out of here at any moment Jesus Christ is coming he's going to come and he's going to take us up into heaven out of harm's way in the rapture 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 19. Our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 13. And then this world, oh my word, oh my word, it's going to be horrible. So please, if you haven't believed on Jesus, do it now. Don't wait any longer. Because every day now, I'm expecting the Lord to come. So, so I know you guys are too. Every day could be the day, um, any day, any day now. So God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you for all your beautiful comments and prayers and support. Um, I'll get up before it's 13 minutes. So please pray for me and Steve um, going to Hull. Um, it's only about an hour and a half from here, but, uh, a bit longer for Steve, I think. Uh, but anyway, bye, guys.